Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, from Army Wife 101. So listen, I apologize for not following up on episodes 8. I think I missed episodes 7 and 8. But in any event, I'm just going to continue today with episode 9 of season 4 of Army Wives. Um, to recap a little bit, we know that Roxy unfortunately lost the baby. And the episode prior to this one, you know Army Wives always does this thing where they skip a week. Ugh. But in any event... We didn't really know what the heck happened with Pam and Chase. He kind of just walked out, and I thought I assumed that he was going back to Colorado, to Fort Carson. So fast forward to Sunday night. They put it on, and it just begins with six months later. Now let me give you a little insight to why that happened. For those of you who don't know and follow Army Wives like I do because I'm an Army Wives fanatic, Denise, played by Catherine Bell, is pregnant in real life. So I guess what they had to do was hurry up and skip ahead because, as you know, she was showing. And you can only do above shots for so long. So for those of you, because I've seen it on my fan page, I've seen it on my own personal Facebook page, people was like, why are they skipping? What the hell? What kind of skip was that? That's why. So they fast forwarded to six months. So now we start the episode and Pam has her own apartment. When did that happen? It's apparent her and Chase have either are in the process of divorce or a filed for divorce and she is living on her own with her two kids. Let me just touch on Pam for a little bit. I get the whole I am woman hear me roar, I'm independent, I used to be a cop and I'm doing everything on my own, but please, there's no way in heck I'm going to be sitting up there and scared to ask my child's father for money to buy my kid's shoes. No way. I mean, maybe I'm seeing it a little bit differently, maybe because, you know, I haven't been in that specific predicament, I don't know, but she kind of irritated me with that whole thing. But in any event, she's applied to the police department and from the ending credits, you can see that apparently she's got the job. So that's that. So they're going through their whole divorce thing. She's struggling with the whole not being able to live on pose. I did like how they touched on when she called Chase to tell him that the kids needed school sneakers or gym shoes. She said, you know, well, I can't have access to the post anymore and blah, 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 blah. And then she got a toothache. I mean, they pretty much touched on every scenario that could ever happen to a wife that's not an army wife anymore. So that's that. Um, Roxy and Trevor. Trevor all of a sudden does not have recruiting duty anymore. The needs of the army come first. So they put him back in an infantry unit and he is on his way to Afghanistan in a month. So of course, Roxy is not too thrilled about that. Now focusing on her, we know she lost the baby. Apparently they went through some, you know, testing and so forth. And it pretty much turned out that her hormonal balance was off. And I guess that had some, that was kind of one of the reasons why maybe she unfortunately miscarried the baby. So her whole plan was to try again, but now Trevor has blown this news on her, and she's not happy. Can I just say one thing that I'm really getting tired of with Roxy and Trevor? I love them to death, but can they please get a new car? I think I've been saying that since last year. I get the whole, you know, trying to play it like, be realistic, but he's a sergeant. She owns a restaurant. You live on post. It's time to get rid of the 85 Mustang already. I mean, really. Every episode, the car is breaking down. She's asking for money for the car. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. It irritates me. Um, Claudia Joy, going back to school, back in law school. Um, things are a little different for her now because, you know, I guess things change in 20 years. And she's kind of having a hard time, you know, not scoring A's and B's anymore. But uh, she's working her way there. She's got her little study mates who, at, at first, there was one who kind of was, like, iffy about studying with her. And, you know, she offered them her house because she does have this big, beautiful house on post with a full stock fridge. And what great thing is that for a bunch of college students? So, yeah, they obliged. But next week, can't wait to see that episode. Claudia is going to be representing a case against Fort Marshall. And who else does she have to go against? Her own husband. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Denise and Frank, well, you know, Denise is pregnant, as I touched on at the beginning of this. Denise is pregnant in real life, so, of course, it fits into the storyline for her and Frank to have a baby, so they're going to have a baby. I don't remember if they said it's going to be a girl or not, but I'm thinking they know it's a girl. Um, this episode was the most hilarious episode, besides the Lenore Baker episode, <laughs> It was the most hilarious episode of Army Wives. This was, like, so well written. The whole two-minute-a-baby thing with Frank and Mike, Michael, Holden, driving the baby around, the baby just darting back and forth, Frank not knowing what to do, getting food thrown in his face. It was so nice to see Frank, you know, in this different light 
versus that staunch macho i'm a major in the army and you know army first and everything it was so good to see him in such a different light and in a more i don't know a more uh, i guess for lack of better words emotional role um uh, michael he always plays that you know good dad you know he's army but he's family so yeah but for frank it was different rolling and joan uh took some couple time went on a little bike ride and that was the whole reason why frank watched the baby um, he decided to play babysitter. So they spent some time together. Now, going to Roland and Joan, there's something going on with Joan. As you know, she was in an accident in Iraq or Afghanistan, and she basically had her cornea and her eye replaced. And now all of a sudden, there's been, you know, Roland's telling her, you know, last week you put the ice cream back in the refrigerator instead of the freezer. Then last night, on Sunday night's episode, she knocked over some wine, and he said, I'm going to get that up. And she says, get what up? And it's like that instantly she forgot what he was talking about. So I don't know if maybe her eye is starting to act up again, or maybe there's something else. Maybe it's because they're going to talk, focus on maybe some type of brain injury that was unknown and now is coming into play. I don't know, but I hope she's okay. Um, and, of course, we focused on her and, you know, Sarah Elizabeth kind of adjusting to her, which I can understand even more so for a mother can be hurtful. Um, so who else did we touch on? We had Roxy and Trevor. Emmeline broke her leg. I think she's okay. She, you know, might or might, might, or might not have been able to play hockey again, but that's kind of like not a major storyline. But, um, yeah, so next week's episode is really, really going to touch base on this whole Claudia Joy representing against Court, uh, Fort Marshall. So we'll definitely have to see that. Now, for another little piece of gossip that I just got wind of. Hmm. I hope I can find it. Apparently, apparently, there's going to be a Gabrielle Union. It says Gabrielle Union scores an Army-wide spinoff. It says Gabrielle Union has been out of work since Flash Forward's cancellation, but she's found a new home on Lifetime. The network has an Army-wide spinoff in the works, and Union has signed on to star in it. The new pilot will be embedded into an upcoming episode of Army Wives, so regular viewers will get a peek at Union in the new show just by tuning into the current season. Union will play Gina Holt, the police detective partner of Army Wives character Pamela Moran. So apparently, Gabrielle Union, who's famous for, um, uh, what movie was she in? I can't remember. She's been, oh, Bring It On. She played one of the cheerleaders. Um, she's been in a couple other movies, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. She's going to be in an episode of Army Wives, and apparently there's going to be the spinoff with Pamela Moran and Gabrielle Union. So that's it for this recap of Army Wives, the TV series. So stay tuned and continue to visit ArmyWife101.com.